my dear Scorpio, this is a love reading, a prediction for Sagittarius season, 22nd of November to 21st of December 2019, with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. The first reading I did was for the birthday sign, so happy birthday to all Sagittarius out there, and I'm reading in, in the... <laughs> The other signs in the order of most appreciated videos from the previous love reading published for Scorpio season. So we're actually in Scorpio season now. So happy birthday to all Scorpios as well. And you can see the order I read in this time around at the community section of my channel. So this will be a love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus, Vedic or Tropical. The reading can go both ways. The drama is the same but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe. So when I tell you this is you, it can as well be the person or situation you are dealing with. Use your own intuition and recognition to determine who is who in this reading for you. And I will start shuffling your cards and I'm using the Golden Universal Tarot by Roberto De Angelis. And when I open your deck here, I see strength card in the reversed uh, together with uh, uh, the Hierophant or the, uh, the High Priest in the upright position. Uh, so it seems like someone has taken uh, their power uh, without this coming from a higher source. So someone basically just want power, but they haven't really connected with their soul. Um, it's kind of when, um, when we say this is how things, this is how you should do it and this is what you shouldn't do. Uh, and it comes from uh, like our culture or our uh, like life settings in general, our family. It's not really uh, the words spoken from your soul. Uh, so um, man rules and <laughs> God laughs or something like that. But uh, mainly what I'm seeing is that someone wants to be maybe the boss of you, uh, but uh, they are not... Um, actually having any authority from their soul to, to do just this. Okay, so I call the divine with love and light. And we see a four of swords still with a strength card uh, in the reverse. So you're basically trying to ignore this, you're trying to ignore this uh, uh, bossy behavior. Like someone is acting from uh, lower parts of themselves, trying to boss you around, or it's like they're over-functioning. And you are just like, uh, uh, I will, I will endure, or I will not just, I will not listen to what they are saying. <laughs> so, I called the four archangels in the four corners of the world. So you're ignoring what they are saying, but you're still staying there uh, together with this person. And this is Taurus, and also the hero font is Taurus. Uh, so you might be dealing with, uh, with an earth sign Taurus, or otherwise, or air. Um, and basically seeing you staying stuck in that situation, not doing anything about it. So, six elements. And here we have the Page of Swords with the Four of Swords uh, in the up and down position. So this is better. Here you kind of stand up for your inner child, stand up for uh, the core inside of you and at least defend yourself. So you're not just taking it. So that's better. So something has will shift or have shifted, okay, from how it was before. So six elements, earth, wind, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear uh, Scorpio viewers. So I want my dear Scorpios to have love in their lives and to find themselves ace of cups with the Sagittarius. Uh, to find themselves in loving relationships. I also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny. So there might be coming in new ideas from your lover towards you, how to fix this situation, or there might come in a new lover, um, maybe a Sagittarius or a fire sign, but it doesn't have to be just showing like love coming in very quickly. So there might be a new suitor there for you, so you can leave this old... Um, a person that seems to want to, you know, rule you in some way or, you know, be the boss of you, but not acting from anyone's highest interests, actually. Okay, 
So I'll just tune in for a few seconds to you and your situation here in Sagittarius season. Okay, so this is the new bottom of the deck, what will start to rule you here in Sagittarius season. What we saw uh, up till now is how the foundation, so kind of how things are for you now in the Scorpio season. In your own season Scorpio and here uh, um, the new bottom of the deck is the star card in the reverse so the star card is 17 1 plus 7 is 8 so you kind of don't have the same trust in these people uh, that you had before you thought they knew something and now you think no they don't know anything at all so you kind of basically stop listening to them and uh, you don't put your trust uh, to them anymore uh, and uh, here uh, is the old bottom of the deck and it's um, a card showing Gemini is a knight of swords <clears throat> so it, it it seems like you have been uh, um, people have wanted to oppose their opinion on you maybe the opinion of who you are and what you should do and what you shouldn't do and you should be like this and you shouldn't be like that and um, it has um, uh, affected your more vulnerable areas like where you share your love or your your love is coming from and, and you have felt uh, very vulnerable in these situations and and you felt almost like a victim like a victim to people's opinions basically okay so uh, this is uh, what's on your mind uh, with the person most on your mind and this is the situation with said person can be more multiple people as well and this is what's on there or this person's mind about you and this is your feelings uh, towards them and this is the bond between you or the common energies and this is their feelings towards you this is your behaviors and attitudes uh, towards them and uh, the outcome uh, and this is their behaviors and attitudes uh, towards you. So, uh, I will start with the situation. And this is the Seven of Swords. So, this is what I told you about this person or these people not acting from their divine self. More acting from the very small, lost human self. They don't have a clue. They just try to impose their ideas on you so they can imagine themselves that they have a clue. But they are lost and uh, you are lost for listening to them is what I'm saying basically. And they are lying and they might be slander talking and uh, going behind your back and uh, and doing stuff. So it's um, if we can see it in symbol, it will be like black magic. <laughs> so like a person... Uh, trying to dig a pit for you or trying to make you, you know, uh, trying to make you look like a fool or trying to make things worse for you or uh, trying to like screw up the situation and, and getting out of there like with um, pure hands. <laughs> it's like a person trying to blame um blame things on you is what I'm feeling and here we have uh, what you are thinking about them and it's you're, you're thinking that they are lying so that's true uh, they are lying the seven of swords is a liar and and thieves but it's also people having very low self-confidence so they kind of need to make the other person hurt as well um, or it might if it's not um, an outgoing person like a person that opposed their pain upon others it will be a person that's shy and withdraw and you know can't speak up for themselves and think that it's no idea to do anything because they will fail anyway so it's very sad energy the seven of swords and, and you are recognizing this so you don't want to think about them at all uh, and you don't want to fight for this anymore so this is uh, what's on uh, their conscious mind about you and we have an ace of wands so they have lost their um, mojo like Things aren't great between you, so they have lost. Uh, kind of doesn't feel great. It doesn't feel they don't. They are not happy. They they feel like low on energy and beaten down. So you kind of have the both the same experience from this situation. So 
it starts me thinking that maybe there has been some kind of misunderstanding as well. Like some person was very convinced of things being in a way, a certain way, and starting to maybe slander talking about you or putting you down or telling you how you should do things. But maybe the whole thing was a misunderstanding from the beginning. But they jumped into these conclusions and, and made you hurt. So uh, I understand if you want to give up on them. And they are kind of not particularly fond of you either. So it's two uh, aces in the reverse. Uh, so it could have been a new beginning here. Like there could have been a new start and things could have been sorted out. But the misunderstandings are still not sorted out. So there can't be any new beginning. So that's what I'm seeing. And... Um, it's the masculine aces, so uh, it's it's like you're acting from a masculine energy of uh, not giving a damn. So I see your light has went out. I don't know when it did it, but I will fix it. So, like um, white magic, <laughs> the light is enlightened. Okay, and this is the common energies between you two, and we have the wheel of fortune in the reverse. So this is like a... Um, it's like a big road sign saying that you need to go back uh, to the foundation or to where the trouble started and solve it from there. So it's basically retracing your steps and, and uh, going back to the situation and talking it through and trying to solve the, mis the, the mishappenings and, you know, come on the, on the right end again with things. So it, it suggests that it suggested that this situation is in need of um, solving. Like people need to use their intelligence to solve the situation and to uh, communicate and um, um, talk about talk things through and and um, make um, make things more clear. What was the intention from the both sides and uh, see if if there's a solution. But you don't see much up for it. But it was the divine is suggesting with this major arcana card here. So this is your feelings uh, towards them. And we have the hermit in the reverse. So it's kind of more of the ace of swords in the reverse that you want to be alone. Uh, you don't want them to contact you. If they did, you might ignore them or block them or uh, like say something very short uh, by or something <laughs> similar to that. So you don't seem very enthusiastic uh, about this. And it's... Um, like it's better to be alone than to be with these kind of people uh, is what you're expressing there. And this is their feelings uh, towards you. And we have a seven of cups in the reverse. Uh, so again, they are thinking that something that you did something or that you were not to be trusted. And you probably feel the same towards them because they seem to have put you in a spot, like in a difficult spot with not being particularly loyal and trustworthy themselves but it seems to be a reaction on something which they might have projected upon you because the seven of cups is uh, projections it's like what we think about another person it doesn't necessarily have to be the truth it's just our own conclusion and our own conclusion if we tell a person like i think you're thinking this it will probably be wrong because they have their own idea of what they are thinking but it seems like this person has imposed uh, their ideas of what you are and who, what were your motives and uh, upon you without really asking you. So um, from their point of view, it seems like they have dodged a bullet, like they recognized in time that you were a disloyal person and they were able to avoid a disaster. So that's basically what I'm seeing that they are thinking and it's kind of unfair and you are not really, you know, freeing your name. And um, they are not act acting from their highest, you know. So this is a really like a sticky situation, like being in a swamp and going around and not finding any real solution. Uh, so uh, this is your behaviors and attitudes towards them. And we have the fool in the reverse. So I get the, the feeling that you would want the situation to be solved, but you have no power left to actually be the you know the one that ignites uh, a communication of any sort it's like you have given up you would want things to be solved but you don't have the energy or the you know the hope or the beliefs that that if you would reach out and try to fix something that anything that 
nothing would be different. So what's the use? So we can say that you have given up uh, in that sense that you don't do any action, but you would still want things to be different is what I'm feeling. You would want things to be in another way. And this is um, their behaviors and attitudes towards you. And it's a seven of pentacles in the reverse. And they also have the seven here. So <clears throat> for me, this is a little bit like a dramatic person that um, feel very offended by you. And in the same way, uh, are waiting for you to come and apologize to them or to explain yourself. But if you would, they would show very little interest. And so... I don't know what they, it seems like they are asking impossible things from you. It's almost like they have determined that you are their parent and you owe them something. That you owe them. You should have, you should have done this. You shouldn't have done that. You, it's a lot of should and shouldn't. And it's almost like they are a victim to circumstances and that other people are very cruel towards them. And they, uh, they think that uh, you should have done things in another way. And uh, they have a lot of opinions of that, of, of that. Um, but it doesn't seem like they are interested in your explanation. They are just interested in you telling uh, them that they were right all along and that um, like kind of crawl in the dirt for them. So that's what they are expecting from you. And they're getting a little bit impatient with this crawling here. They want you to crawl like anytime soon. <laughs> so they are getting very like, where is this person? They want you to come uh, with this energy, but you're not going to because it's in the reversed. Uh, and um, kind of take, uh, take on the role like the dog's head <laughs> and say, oh, everything was my fault. And then they will be happy because they are not ready to see someone else's uh, uh, truth uh, or, or your side of things. They are just so close on their side of things. So this is the outcome. And we have a 10 of wands. So nothing seems to be solved in this situation. I'm not saying it's a hopeless situation. But in this uh, Sagittarius season period, I don't see uh, any solutions. I just see you both having your positions, you feeling very unfairly treated, the other person feeling like a victim, uh, and um, and you're not doing anything about it. But it's like a pressure on this, the Ten of Wands with the Seven of Coins in the reverse, and also this. It's like they are more interested in talking about this than you, but they want you to come and talk about it and, and tell, you know, that I'm sorry and I should have done things in a better way. So I think I get a hint of you have been doing this a lot, maybe taking a lot of the blame, even if it wasn't your fault. And maybe you have kind of made them getting used to that. And uh, so now they are waiting for you to do the same. But you feel very um, kind of disengaged from the situation because it's unfair. So why bother? It's better to be alone is what I'm seeing with you while they are kind of um, impatiently waiting for you to come and, and uh, say something. So I'm getting this song, uh, Say Something, I'm Giving Up On You. So I guess that's what, how they are feeling about the situation. And this might be a person you haven't thought so much of because you have tried to close this chapter. So you might be surprised that this person still is is bothered by the situation because I think even if you haven't moved on you're not investing in this situation so you will be surprised to hear that they are invested still um, it's like they can't uh, comfort themselves in this situation so this is you and this is them uh, so we have when it comes to the matters of the heart there's no right or wrong every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love so it kind of the divine is supporting you and saying that you have your free will here and you can either, you know, try to talk with this person and sort things out or you can continue ignoring them. It's up to you. Both, uh, both roads will lead to an experience that is valuable for you. And from their point of view, it's embrace. Uh, through each other, you find the missing pieces. So it seems like they still are eager to learn something from you or have something from you. Some, It's like... 
they are missing you even though they are trying to ignore this with the ace of wands in the reverse because you don't feel fulfill their emotions in the way that you used to um mostly because you there's no idea <laughs> but um they are missing you and they want things to be solved but they kind of want you to take the full responsibility for the situation so they're not up for helping you uh with this and you don't seem like to think that that's a good idea so i don't see much of a solution but this is your additional advice despite the cards we already have and it's good fortune invite magic in uh so the divine seems to have like a lot of interest in this situation 10 uh, the wheel 10 of wands they think that you are a little bit you know off the rails for not speaking to each other and solving this but um i can see sometimes it's like they forget how it can be to be on earth and actually experience this that if we don't have the energy and we don't feel up for it and we have been shot down every time we made an attempt uh, to say I'm sorry even if it you don't feel like it was even your fault uh, so why should you try again basically um, and they think well it's just to try again <laughs> so good fortune invite magic in welcome to the magic of life all good things are coming your way you deserve your heart's desire so allow yourself to feel good now when you send out positive energy and are ready to receive, providence gets into action. You don't need to understand how this happens. Just trust that the universe is at work and will rearrange itself to make the right things happen for you. After you have asked for what you desire, give thanks and trust that it will occur. Mantra, I trust in the magic of life to fulfill my desires. Uh, so I think like this, that the divine thinks that there's more hope in this situation that, than what you what you know i think this person has acted a little bit bossy around you but really they are looking up to you and your words matter uh, so that's maybe why they're still waiting for you because they're kind of waiting for you as to be the bigger person and, and solve this because they can't they don't have the tools they don't know how to do this and it's a lot of sevens seven of swords seven of cups seven of pentacles so they are like in the midst of a spiritual challenge where they probably don't feel very well and uh, uh, they might need someone to show them the way and you have a lot of major arcana cards here showing that the divine has maybe most hope for you like you are the most uh, the person mostly in connect in connection with the divine uh, so uh, if they can only speak with you. They can't speak with this person because they are lost at sea. It's like, or lost in the swamp and they can't seem to get through because as I said in the beginning, this person is so persuaded by their own ideas, but those ideas isn't coming from a heavenly um, part of them, like from their soul. It's just coming from their maybe martyrdom or victimhood or um, self-pity or feeling like out of control and that p things should be in a one way but they aren't and it's getting them very upset uh, so i think this person is a little bit blinded to what the truth actually were and they they need to hear the truth from you and and they kind of need your help uh, but uh, i can also see that from your point of view they don't deserve it <laughs> so it's up to you what you do with this if you are going to call them and try again and, you know, run with your head into the brick wall or if you are just going to continue forgetting about it. Um, do what suits you, okay? So if you need more information about this situation, you can go to the uh, November love readings. They're a little bit more, um, um, like, detailed than this and longer. And uh, I have done for the four elements because I was going to travel, so I didn't have time to do all the 12 signs. But they are very elaborate, uh, elaborated and you might find more clues. So maybe watch uh, uh, Watcher. Uh, but you can watch them all and also pick out the things that seems um, uh, where you are really like listening and feeling like, yeah, this is about my situation. And there's also the same reading like this or the similar reading like this. But for Scorpio season is up. And as you know, we are in Scorpio season right now. So you can watch that too. Uh, there's also pick a card readings up on my channel page uh, where you can find all these readings. 
uh, you can click on the little icon there uh, and I will put up more uh, pick a card readings next week that's my plan anyway <laughs> so uh, until next time I want you to take really good care and bye bye